pay one to this. So Chrome OS, right? It's the default operating system that comes on computers like this. Chromebooks. But there is another version of Chrome OS called Chrome OS Flex that you can install on computers like this. Regular old computers. But some people took Chromium OS, which is the open source version of Chrome OS, and made it so that one, there's a ton of improvements, and two, it can run on devices like this, like this, or like this. Anything, even a Chromebook if it's been core booted. So yeah, today we're just going to be installing Fido OS on this, a pink HP Stream 11. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go. We're on the laptop. So we got our USB stick right here with Fido OS on it. So we're just going to stick it in the computer, turn it on and just wait because I don't think there's an operating system on this computer. Could be wrong, but... Oh yeah! I completely forgot Secure Boot's on. Um, 6033, enter F9, F9, F9. Oh, what, what? EFI embedded MMC device. All right, there's already Chrome OS Flex on here. Chrome, Chrome, I don't even know what's on here. It, the boot label is Chromium OS, so there might be Chromium OS on here. I don't know, but we're going to be wiping... Oh my gosh! Well, that was something. And also the lights are on because it's getting dark outside. I'm just showing the brick wall and not anything else because if I showed anything else, I would be doxing myself. Alright, choose your language and keyboard. Does a tank tank work? No, <laughs> nothing works. All right, here on the Whale Tech channel, we make sure that nothing works before we hit record. Escape. I'm just gonna button mash until something happens. Um, what? Where's the mouse? All right, I'll just let it unfreeze. Alright, it's frozen. I'm just gonna turn it off and try this again. Alright, we have a reboot and um, I just went to the Oxford Dictionary spelling. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but hey, the mouse works. Oh! The screen reader on Chrome OS. Chromebox is primarily used by people with blindness or low vision to read text displayed on the screen with a speech synthesizer or braille display. Press okay, the yes, space I don't bar care. to turn on Chromebox. When Chromebox is activated, you'll go through Stop. a quick tour. Stop! Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, install Fido OS, please. Uh, let's just do a full disk installation and just wipe this whole EMMC card. Oh! We're doing it! We are doing it! So, um, yeah. I've messed around with, um, Fido S before and, like, VMs and stuff in it. And it installed very fast. I just did the ISO thing and stuff. I just did an ISO in a VM and it just installed, like, very fast. So, hopefully it installs very fast here as well. So, yeah, let's just start our time lapse in three, two, one. Once the okay USB stick goodbye. I'm gonna turn the computer on and wait. 
I got the USB stick. So Fido West. Should probably put like an epilepsy warning in the video or something. Because of the whole um situation with that. That corrupted bootloader screen thing. Choose your language and keyboard. Oh! I was about to say, well, English United States is the only option, so I guess I have to use English United you know, No, it just populated. Uh, English United Kingdom. And the keyboard is a UK layout. You. I was about to just talk about UK Dvorak, but... What even is the Dvorak keyboard layout? I'm gonna need to look it up and put it in this video or something, cause, yeah. Uh, accept and continue. Accept and continue. Uh, Fido West account or a Google account? Oh, there's a use local account button. I wanna use a local account. Um, so username whaletech07 at fidoest.local. A and A. This email does not exist, it's a local account. Create your local Fido S account. Um, select. I want to select light, light a dark theme. A dark theme. Yeah. Uh, don't get started. Uh, no. Oh, whoa. Thank you. How's the back? Oh gosh, it's nineteen percent. I think I might need to um get a charger. Charger. Well, we're in the SLL. So, um, yeah, let's first stop, do some tests. Fast.com. Let's see if this can okay. 100, 110 megabits. Yep, there we go. Show more info. Oh gosh. Well, I have to blur the bottom half of this, otherwise I would be doxing myself. So yeah, um, upload speed 25. So yeah, there's that. I'm going to stop with this test now. It's using Bing as the default search engine, which is not my favourite, but whatever. They need to support... Um, Alright, let's see how good it is at watching um YouTube videos. Okay, well to this. So I want to install a version of Windows on oh, no, a the Android based device. System is open. And you know it's a very accessible touchscreen Store based Store. device. Phones. This is my Google Pixel 8. If I actually take my phone out of the case, alright, the case is off the phone. Google. Yeah, I'm using a Google Pixel 8 right now as my main phone as of August 2024. Which is my main phone as of filming this video. Yep. So, um, did I mention it's slow? Um, yeah, let's try some 1440p content. So let's just go oldest here. Let's watch this video. Hey! Welcome to this. Alright, so it's in 480p. Let's put it in 1440p. Hey. Oh gosh, it's Welcome lagging. Alright. So picture this. The year is 2024. It's New Year's Day and you think, why not install Windows 7 on an old computer? Oh my gosh, it's yeah. lagging. Stop. Um, so let's put it down to like 720. So that's still watchable, but yeah, let's see. Well, that's exactly what we let's go back and see this wonderful keyframing that I did. Oh, Windows 7 on an old computer I have. 
Well, that's exactly what we're doing in today's video. We are installing Windows 7 Home Premium on an old Asus Spire X1430. With this took a bit of time to do. The E350 CPU. Yeah, it just took me a while to remember that. 500 gigs of HDD storage and an AMD Radeon integrated graphics card or whatever. Alright, so stop that. And now let's try. If it couldn't handle 1440p, then can it handle 4K? Probably not, but we gotta try. Alright, uh, Jigger old channel. We don't talk about this channel. Uh, we can go, um... This one I can... It's safe to play, so I will play this. Find highly rated products at prices you'll like. <coughs> Okay, so it's in 720p, but we're going to put it in 4K. I'm kind of nervous to see how this will turn out on this old HP Stream 11 with a Celeron. I mean, my internet's fast enough for this, so... <coughs> Sorry about that. Is this in 4K? What? Let's just skip ahead here a bit. Oh, yep. Yeah. Taking a little bit when I skip ahead. So, um, and to prove that it is actually the. Oh. Alright, oh, made it just, a, just, just in time for the chorus. These speakers are just absolutely horrible. I'm gonna go get some better speakers. Alright, better speakers acquired. These are just Amazon basics, but they're good enough. They're just actually pretty good speakers for... <coughs> I'm going to put them right here and here so that they're just right next to the camera. Content works really well. I'm just gonna keep these speakers in for the rest of the video just because. So, yeah, um, let's try and. I have like a ton of music files that I could potentially just chuck in a network share and put them on. Alright, they're on my share, so I'm just gonna need to connect up to the share and then we'll, we'll be all good. Um, so it's smb colon slash slash, um, 192.168.0.0.9 slash whaletech07 add I um let's just put this in my files here oh gosh it's it's copying all of them I, they've all been copied over so yeah, I also relocated the speakers, so now they are here, instead of over here. Um, I want this one. <laughs> that is really loud! Alright, that's a bit better. So yeah, um... We can play a ton of other stuff here, but we're just using that as an example. Android files! Woo! This... That just gave me an idea! I also have Geometry Dash on this as an APK. So what if we... Oh! Alright then, I will put it on developer mode. I know how to. So we will go Fido OS, enable developer mode, and confirm. We start. Alright, developer mode has been enabled. Let's um install this. So you can install it off the You know, I'm just gonna throw it in downloads just because. Oh oh we need to activate the Android subsystem. Again. Alright, so once it's done copying, the subsystem should be active. Alright, we're on. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, install, install. Just crash the entire subsystem. Um, so, geometry dash. Yeah. So, I'm probably going to need the Steam Link app. stuff because why not um, wallpaper change the wallpaper well I'm gonna be getting rid of this installation soon anyway so let's just pick leisure no not leisure illustrations sure uh, just change daily sure refreshing and yeah that looks good for a wallpaper so yeah that is my little exploration and installation of fide os um a lot of things didn't work but that is to be expected when dealing with something like this so yeah well i hope you enjoyed this video that took way too long to edit if you did leave a like if you have something to say leave a comment and if you want to see more then subscribe and i'll see you in my next upload.